we are going to find the maximum of all the submatrix of size 2 like the this submatrix and um, this submatrix also we have to find the maximum of all the submatrices so so if uh, it is one day added then what will we do like uh, if the array is given like 1 5 6 and 7 then how will we find the <coughs> maximum like side d going to maximum of size k equals to 2 of window size k equals to 2 then we have a method using double ended queue so there like we will have one dq we will push all the indices in the dq like that if the dq is like that and then first we will push the indices of first so one will be pushed first then five will be pushed okay and then um, no five will not be pushed uh, the index of five will be pushed so two will be pushed and then when when we want to push six so we'll, we will check that all the element at the rear end of the queue which are less than i minus k which is three minus uh, two so less than equal to i minus k so it is one less than equals to i minus k so we'll pop it now we'll push six into the queue before pushing six into the queue we'll check all the uh, element which are rear end of the queue uh, is greater than equal to greater than than uh, this current element so we will try to push 6 here so this is front end of the queue and this is rear end of the queue so now 2 is uh, the element at index 2 is less than 6 so we will pop it now we will push 6 here now again we will try to check for 7 so 6 is greater than 7 6 is lesser than 7 obviously so we will pop it and I will push 7 so for this example this is quite straightforward because the array is quite increasing so we will take another example like 2983 like 2 9 8 and 3 now uh, first our array will uh, for index 1 we will push it into the queue front end of the queue now when we want to push 9 into the queue we will check if the first element of the queue the i mean the rear end element of the queue is greater than uh, this element or not so it is not greater than because you have 1 equals 2 so we will pop it now we will push 9 into the queue so the index of 9 is 2 so we will push uh, 2 into the queue so for 8 we will first check uh, uh, if anything less than equals to i minus k into the queue into the front end of the queue so there is no element like that now we'll check if there is any element which is lesser than 8 into the rear end of the queue so there is no element so we'll push 3 and uh, by the way we are keep tracking of the um, sliding window maximum for uh, for this uh, index this is 2 for this index this is 9 and for this index also this is 9 because uh, before pushing it into the queue the maximum element will be the element presented in uh, the queue the last element presented in the queue now when we try to push 3 so we will check this is 4 so 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 so 2 is 2 should be popped because uh, this is not in the window now we will check uh, 8 is greater than 3 so we don't need to pop it so the sliding window maximum will be 8 now we will push it 4 so like that we can do the sliding window maximum thing in the 1d array so now, now you have to do it into the 2d array so for doing it into the 2d array so we will make uh, this 1d array the, like, like, like this sliding window maximum array for this uh, for every row of the um, <coughs> matrix so for 1 5 6 7 we will make uh, one array uh, for 2 9 8 we will make an array by that we are making an entire matrix of this sliding window maximum so let us do that first so let me choose another color so for 1 5 6 7 uh, this is already built so this will be 1 5 6 7 only and for 2 9 8 3 we have calculated it it will be 2 9 9 8 and for 3619 it will be like uh, 3 then 6 then 6 and then 9 
and for uh, 7 to 4 1 it will be like 7 and uh, 7 and uh, I think this will be 4 and 4 so after calculating the array so we have calculated the sliding window maximum thing in uh, every row so after calculation is over after our calculation is over so we have got this matrix so from this matrix we have to calculate for every element uh, for every ending point at the so for every <coughs> sub matrix which is ending at this index the, uh, if the um, sub matrix is ending at this index so for this index we have to find every uh, for, for this index we have to find the maximum in this uh, 2 cross 2 window so we have to start for from this index uh, so which is 2 comma 2 if we follow one based indexing so we have to again do uh, one kind of uh, the same one day added thing for every column this time so let me do that for you so for for every column well, now we have to do the same thing we have done for the rows so and this time the value will not be matrix the value will be this this array so this will be row row sliding window maximum now we have to find the column sliding window maximum from the row sliding window maximum so for this uh, for this row uh, for this column 1 2 3 7 our array will be like that mm. so for 1 2 3 7 and uh, <clears throat> for this 5, 9, 6, 7, our array will be like that 5, 9, 9, 7 and for this 6, 9, 6, 4, our array will be like that 6, 9, 0, 9, uh, 9 and 4 I think this is, this is not 4, this will be 6 so this will be 6 and for this it will be 7, 8 nine nine so now it is over so uh, if we want to check what is the sliding window maximum for every sub matrix of size 2 cross 2 we will go to this value um, um, we will go to this value for for this survey the sliding window maximum for this survey um, the survey here will be nine you can check it one five two nine the maximum will be nine now for uh, this survey the sliding window maximum will be found at this position which is again 9 we can verify it again for this sliding window for this sliding window of 2 cross 2 the maximum will find at this position which is 8 and for again for this the sliding window for this sliding window the maximum will be presented this element which is 9 you can check it again for this for this survey sub matrix the sliding window will present the maximum will be presented at this position okay again verify it no so now